Hey YouTube, welcome Hi. back to our channel. It's been like five days since we've posted, but it's been like a week and a half since totally. we've been in A school. What we plan to talk about now is alpha phase of training as an IT, CTN, or CTR. And we're also going to talk about um, what it's like being in A school, <laughs> what watch calls are, because you guys are you better get prepared for that, because the first week of training, you probably won't get any sleep. Um, let me see. Uh, what is IT, ATF? We'll start with that. It's IT. <laughs> Advanced technical training. So we have A school and C school. There's like three different phases. Not phases, but like times for class. Mm. Like alpha, you have class from like it's like six to twelve or something like that. And then Bravo, you have class from like ten thirty to five, I think. Doesn't matter where it fits. And then the last one is like a night shift. So it's like I think it's from like four to eight. Like that. There are a lot of ITs on this campus, and I believe IT ATF is probably the best choice. Even though it's a six-year contract, you, um, just being a part of the advanced technical field means that you'll rank up as either a petty officer third class or a second class right after A school. Um, let me see, so what do we do on our free time? What we had all week was watch calls, and what's the best way to explain watch calls? It's basically like we're training to watch a specific area, like from like protecting from the alien. Basically, there's like three of them. So there's um, duty driver, which is um, where you drive back and forth from this other base, um, it's like almost right across from us. It's NAS, and then uh, they have MOOW, which is Messenger of the Watch. Um, which is basically that's on the on, mainly on the quarter deck. You like mm -hmm. greet people. You have the people sign in and stuff. And you like you answer the phone. If the phone rings, you're the one who's responsible for answering it and relaying the message mm -hmm. to the officer at the deck. And you guys you're are in charge of everything on the deck on the quarter deck. In boot camp, you guys do uh, M O W watches on, on the quarter deck. M O W and roving. Roving is easy. You just explore. Um, Basically, you stand watch by um, roving around mm -hmm. the, um, what is it, the Alpha and Bravo barracks, that's the IT barracks, and the, um, what One we the call ghettos. the ghettos. Um, we won't say the last one, though. We won't say the last one. Um, but the Charlie um, barracks as well. Um, so you just rove around by ex exploring those barracks, making sure nobody's doing some fuck shit. Some, some something crazy. It could be, it could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we have had shootings here. Yeah. Uh, we have like a, there's four team in like military installment, not to scare you. Mm -hmm. Um, but like in the whole U.S. Here there was one. Duty driver. If you have a license and you're not comfortable driving a van, you're still gonna drive a van. Um, they don't care if you're comfortable, comfortable or not. Either you, um, you know, you fail your driver's test, um, again, or you, and then go and take it, or you get disqualified because you don't have a license. Like, there is no lake room. But then you just end up being a spotter. I took it yesterday, like, mm -hmm. last night. How was it? It wasn't that bad. Um. Did you get, get the chance <laughs> to drive the van? I did, I did. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically we, like, backed up. It was, it wasn't as hard as I... Uh, but I haven't driven in like three months, so like my like my braking was a little iffy. Bro, okay, so I was driving and like I was backing up and then I put it in drive. <laughs> I actually put like pushed it all the way down to manual. Oh. So like when you know when it's on manual you press the gas pedal, it doesn't go any faster than like fifty miles an hour. Hmm. And so I was like, Oh so I had to like push it back up and the, the instructor he was really chill, he was really chill. He was just like, yeah, it's in the middle of the night, it's like, yeah. So I, and so I pushed it out to drive. Yeah. It was chill, the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No one crashed. Um. Well, you have to get all the signatures for your watch. There are like five for duty driver, three for rover, mm -hmm. and uh, I think four for messenger of the watch. Four. We have 
three or yeah. four. Three or four for Messenger of the Watch. So we're eleven total. Yeah, they're yeah, they're about eleven signatures you have to get. You have to wear your NSEs when you go and watch for the quarter deck, except for when you um are roving. You can wear your NWUs. Your NSUs are what we call the peanut butters. It's this light brown shirt with um your collar tags, your little ribbon, and then a pair of slacks and a pair of dress shoes. The slacks are nice. The slacks are nice. The dress shoes? No. I got like a, a giant blister on the back of my right foot. And um, what really helps with that was um, wearing like panty liners like on the back of my ankle. I wore like, uh, I wrapped two panty liners on it and I was like good for the day. What else do we actually do on our free time? Like, we go... We spend money. We spend money. We spend money. We sp yeah, we go shopping. Another thing we do on our free time is um, we go bowling. There's like um, something called the MWR, as well as like the USO. The USO the other day had puppies, and um, like while I was going on watch, I heard that other people like got a chance to pet these puppies and like play with them at the USO. But like, I was too busy, I wasn't able to go and experience that, and I was like so upset. And then they have it every week though. Yeah, they have it every week, and they also had a barbecue too, and it was pretty nice. Um, you eat all my Don't chocolates. Me. So the bowling alley, I've, I've realized like, I really suck at bowling. Like, when I played with my friend um, so mad. the other day, like, he got like a hundred. And I got 16, okay? Don't don't dog me with that. I'm I'm here I'm here to do a job, okay? Yeah, on Saturday yeah, on Saturday nights they have um cosmic bowling. Everything's it's like ten bucks dark. each person. Yeah. But it's worth it because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. What else should we talk about? So cohabiting. Um guys <coughs> and girls <coughs> cohabiting means no guys, n no girls. Who are not your roommates in the same basically room. anyone who isn't your roommate isn't supposed to be here like even if it's a girl it, it still is her cohabiting yeah but it's it's still still it's, it still happens yeah no don't do that when you come up in be a in a good, school good person like us be be good people okay be no cohabiting. exemplary students be exemplary like, right now is like the time to learn and do your job so also, when you get into Bravo phase, you can like go out and do whatever you want. Not like I'm encouraging you to like go crazy or anything. Okay, shoes shine. So uh, when you get out of like basic training, you're gonna think, oh, I don't have to shine my shoes anymore. You're wrong. You're wrong. If you don't think you have to shine shoes, you're wrong. Yeah. No, you do. And if you're a guy and like it hurts when you shave, get a shave chit. Because they're gonna have you shave like it's every morning, just like, just like boot camp. It's actually, it might be even worse at boot camp because they do check. Like, they literally mm -hmm. make you take your mask off. Every muster. Every muster. I don't even know if you have three musters, Jenny. No, we have two musters. Have two musters so too. every single day we muster. Um, so Basically, on the weekends like we, we gather. Muster. Yeah, we, we gather on at grinder. 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like right outside of our barracks, this little area is called the grinder. And we all gather there like at a certain time. So dorms. We already talked about cohabiting and everything. But um I'd like to give you guys like a dorm tour. Oh, oh before that, um yeah. if you guys have like stuff that's like expensive that you want to keep out, get a high value chit so you don't have to like always put it and lock it up and everything. Like I'll leave my computer out. Um and you have to fill this paper out and get a sign by the quarter deck. Quarter mm -hmm. Yeah, by the quarter deck. Pretty. Um, saying that like you know I have permission to leave this out because it's like it's like boot camp almost like we have room inspections like you don't have to fold your clothes like pristine as long as it's not like messy and like you know, the place is like relatively clean like they don't they're fine with it. So let's start a room tour. Room tour. Uh, we kind of closed the blinds because the lighting was really bad. Yeah, let me see. Are you put it there? You can see, it's pretty nice. Um, we have a whole window. We can spy on people walking down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ready so, so these barracks, that's like 1094, yeah. and only the males can go in there. There's no females, but it's so nice. Yeah. Just like, 
They can put light, like at night, we'll see them put like string lights up. Or something like that. LEDs, mm -hmm. red lights. Yeah. Um, so there's two beds in each room. There's one here and there. I sleep here. Uh, Alan sleeps over here. Uh, we have our own. We bought these blankets. Like, these are freaking lifesavers. Because, mm -hmm. as I told you before, they came with no pillows. And we had to buy our own pillows and the blankets because these, these, whatever the hell they gave us, is, it's not warm at all. Um, we have like a lamp and we have like a little dresser and stuff like that. We have these like cabinet things underneath. And apparently you have to lock them even though you don't store anything in there, which we actually haven't done because they haven't said anything about it. So if anything, I'm just going to return the locks. But it's stupid. Like, why do I have to lock it if I have a whole closet that I lock? So, you like, I don't even know where you lock it. Like, where you, oh, here. Mm -hmm. You need like you four, four of those. It here. Yeah, you need like four locks. Anyways, um, we have each a desk. Um, they kind of have a little cool light here. It's like... And then you have your own like two dressers. Um, basically, there's like charging outlets everywhere. Um, so you don't have to worry about like not finding one. So this setting here is a little weird. We have a shower, a sink, and then a toilet. So like you shower in here, but you like shit over there and you wash your hands here. Um, the shower is pretty nice. Actually, like this building is like the newest building. So like everything in here is like brand, brand new. Um, that's the shower, it's nice, um, the water's actually warm, so, like, you don't have to worry about those cold showers that you have in the camp. Um, then we have this, like, three-way mirror, not three-way, but, like, you can open it, put stuff inside, and the sink, each, uh, compartment, I guess you'd say, comes with a microwave, um, a fridge and a freezer. And then um, we have cabinets up here. We put our food and snacks up here. And then we put cleaning supplies, soup in the <coughs> RV and sausages here. Um, and then we each have our own closet. Um, this is the, use the same key card to get in your room. Um, if you go inside, it's not that, you don't have to keep everything like boot camp clean, but it has to have some sort of order to it. And don't worry about that. I haven't followed that yet. <laughs> Um, you can put all your stuff there, and then you have your dress shoes, dress uniform over here. Um, the toilet's over here. It's not that bad, I mean, it's a toilet. And it's actually a lot of space, if you think about it. Like, you really don't need this much space. Um, that's about it. Um, yeah. Do you have anything to say to YouTube about our barracks room? Um, the walls are thin. Mm -hmm. Walls are thin. If you play music in the shower, they can hear you. Um, like, especially in the morning, because I'll have, like, music wake me up. And people are like, yo, turn your music down. I've had that said to me before, so. Yeah, I'm trying not to get your music out. I did buy a speaker. I haven't actually used it yet. We tried it. That was it. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it's nice. I like this place. I usually sleep on the floor, though. Because we're not, uh, like, in boot camp, they'll tell you not to sleep. Um, in your racks with your end up on, with these on. Um, so I've gotten so used to that, I don't even go in my bed with these on. I don't take my blouse off. So I'm just like, I'll sleep on the floor. <laughs> and then charge my phone. You weirdo. No, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. These are Airbnb sausages. Mm, just chilling. Mm -hmm. Mine are like on the desk. Mm -hmm. All right, so that sums up the room, the barracks room tour. All right.